All right, so happy Friday, maybe happy Saturday, depending on when you're watching this. Uh, today, we're going to go ahead and take a look at Wayfair, and the stock is breaking down below that $100 level. So the question is, is it time to bail? Because is there a crash around the corner? We're going to go ahead and check that out here real quick. So uh, don't forget to also check out our Discord channel right here and our website at Tradersfly, where we've got some uh, great courses. The links are going to be in the description below. Um, anyway, let's kick things off with Wayfair here. Uh, the stock is breaking down. I do want to show you just overall, this stock is pretty volatile. I think it's a cool website and they deliver some cool furniture. Uh, but overall, when you look at this trend, the stock has been going higher for a little while. Now we're pulling back. So where is a cool, critical, healthy support? You're probably going to see it come back into about $50. There's a, just a lot of selling pressure and the selling pressure is building. So it is quite sad and unfortunate for the stock. And uh, we are looking at these being a solid support level now it doesn't mean it's going to go back down into that level uh it could bounce obviously a lot sooner but that is a very healthy area where it could bounce so meaning if it gets into there and it breaks below that level below 50 then you got some real serious trouble uh so right now as we're pulling back into this this level uh, that 50 is is fairly solid but if we keep going you're gonna have a serious issue because in the past it did do that it did go down to about 30 dollars a share and that was a problem but look at this bowl-shaped pattern right here so if you look at the volume here this bowl-shaped pattern that's creating we're really accelerating on the bearish side okay now yes we've had some panics in the past boom boom um and now we've got this rollover effect so with this pressure where it's continuing with steam to the downside that's definitely a big problem Watch out for earnings. Earnings are coming up and that could uh, fuel the stock even further down or up. I mean, look at Netflix earnings didn't really help it much. So look at that uh, drawdown on Netflix. We just choo, came down and that was a problem. So when we look at Wayfair, the same thing, we've got earnings here coming up. But right here, this was a solid support around 100 holding, holding, holding. But now we've got just these this downward trend coming and this massive selling pressure, this release of energy. It's like, oh man, it's just going down and you've got some some serious problems uh, right there. So that's why I say the 50 is kind of critical right there. It's kind of the next big stop. Uh, it could reverse course sooner, call it 70, call it 60, uh, but 50 is very important. And then if we go in even lower, probably 30, because you could see this is where the emotional uh crash kind of happened right around that zone and that's where it sustained stuff because then you're getting into 2016 2017 that's not to say that we can't get into that level of 30 it's just um you're probably going to be oversold by then you'll probably see a serious bounce after that kind of like the same retracement that we've had here a big bounce and that's what happens with stocks is they get oversold to the downside and then they they bounce higher very quickly. So anyways, watch out for those kinds of things. That's my thought on this stock. I think it's got some potential in the future, but right now you've got a lot of negative energy where the stock is pressing lower. I mean, along with a lot of the other indexes right now, you could just see we're just plummeting down and, and lower where uh, Friday is typically weak. And you could see we're just down big time on the ES with many stocks like, uh, you know, even AMD, Microsoft, I mean, just the just the charts overall don't look very good and healthy here. You can see they're just constantly down, down, uh, just a lot of selling pressure. People are just trying to get out, get out and get out. So um, anyway, so I just want to share with you with some some technical levels here with Wayfair hundreds broken. So, you know, uh, depending on your risk parameters, I'd say watch the 50 on the medium term, right? Uh, if you're a day trader, it's a whole different story. And then 30, maybe, hey, the 30 should definitely, I wouldn't say definitely, but 30 is a very solid support because now you're getting really low, a low of an extension. And 50, you're probably looking at a somewhat of a bounce by then. So watch out. Yeah, today's panicky, but um, but you'll probably see some pops in between there as we head lower. In the same way here, as we headed lower, there were a few weeks that were on the upside. So I don't want to freak you guys out. So even if you look at the days, you do get some up up moves here on the day. Uh, but overall, the trend's just lower. And it's the same thing here. Is if we look at like, you know, the weekly, the trend's still lower. And that's why I say kind of 50 is kind of where I'm looking at for a possible uh good support and really 30 is you know you're coming right in if you get into 30 you're coming into almost the ipo range so i think by then you'll be oversold pretty much in a, in a big big way so anyway um hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for joining me enjoy the weekend ahead and i will see you on the next episode